right, we just stopped at Bridal Falls uh, Shell Station. We were able to get some gas and we actually got to fill up with propane. So this is a perfect stop for us. Very easy to get in and out of too. All right, now we go on to Harrison, Sasquatch Park. All right, after three hours of driving, we finally arrived at our campsite. We're gonna go around the, the park here and ours is on the other side. time potato salad and yummy hamburgers cheeseburgers we're just gonna do the propane fire tonight we're just getting all of our curtains up because it's actually getting quite late we got June. here uh, fairly late it took us about three and a half hours so uh, yeah it was a quick evening had dinner and now it's already time for popcorn and marshmallows I just won ten dollars. Okay, Sam and Daddy are going on an adventure walk. Does that one work? There. Oh, that's very bright. Oh, there we go. Now you can see in the dark. All right. Good luck, guys. And this time we have our solar lights out. They look so good. We remembered to charge them ahead of time. So hopefully they will last. Because we got in so late tonight, we are just going to do this propane fire. But we do have a whole lot of wood. So tomorrow night we're going to do a wood fire because there is still no campfire ban, which is great. you can see it very well but over there in the woods we have our little twinkle lights up too. All right good night Sam. See you in the morning. Tomorrow. That's right camping. Good night. Good morning. All right, we had a really good sleep in. It's after eight right now. I'm gonna go back and sit down and have my coffee pretty soon. And uh, Sam's having some Cheerios, but I had to come down and take a look at the lake. Let's see what it looked like this morning. This is the little trail from our campsite that we have coming out to the lake. That's what I like about the ones on this side of um, Hicks Campground. You come down here and you have your own private little path. And this little part of the lake here is pretty deserted usually. And the lake is really full too, wow. Whew, just walked through a spider web. But uh, yeah, there's actually not much beach area. The lake is quite full. Nice. And then, yeah, basically, like I said, you have this private beach area to yourself. It's going to be a nice day.
All right, we're gonna have breakfast. Half brown, bacon, eggs. So the boys went for a hike up to the other end of the lake. There's this beautiful, beautiful beach up there. And uh, so they went to do that and then they're gonna go swimming up there and then they'll come back in a couple of hours and I get some time to myself. I'm so excited. I'm cleaning up the campsite. And gonna have coffee, do some scratch tickets, color in my book. Yeah, I can't wait. It's really peaceful this morning. Very nice, as it always is camping. All right, we got the hammock out and I'm gonna put it up so that when the guys get back, they can have a little rest in the hammock. So we are into day two, like I mentioned, and the odd thing is, is we've been here since about 6.30 last night, and not once has anybody from the campground come around, so we haven't actually checked in. Uh, they don't even know that we're the right people, so I don't know. We've seen the car go by, the truck go by a few times, but nobody's ever stopped, and um, yeah, so very odd. Very odd. We haven't camped in this campground for a while, but I guess maybe that's how they roll. There's no gate to check in, so yeah, that, I don't know how they really even know the proper people are in the proper sites. But uh, anyway, it's very weird, but uh, still super peaceful. So here's the bad news. Uh, before we left for the trip, we noticed that we have a mouse. We're hoping that it's just one and not plural, but we uh, found it here under the fridge where we keep our tools and plastic bags. I pulled a plastic bag out and it was all torn to bits. And then there was gross mouse poop everywhere. Uh, so we cleaned all that out, vacuumed it, put um, some of those sticky things down. Now I'm scared to open it, but uh, hopefully either the mouse got scared out or it's stuck. And now for the other bad news. <laughs> I just went to get some stuff from under here, under the couch, and I noticed that we had been storing some extra things down there. We shouldn't have done it. I was silly, but it was popcorn uh, and some, uh, some old boxed cereal. And uh, yeah, I guess what the mouse was munching on so it's under or was underneath the couch as well so far it looks like the couch is fine it hasn't been chewing on the couch but definitely all of that uh food is gone so i've cleaned that out of there and uh, when we get home we'll have to vacuum under there and clean that all out wipe everything down and um put some stuff under there and hopefully hopefully our little mouse friend will be too scared and he will run away and never return. Oh my gosh, look at the little babies. Those guys are so little, those are new. Those are fairly new little geese. I look at mommy and daddy there, making sure they keep in line. Oh, they think they're gonna come over and get something to eat. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. All right, the boys are back from their walk and we're hungry, so we're gonna have some hot dogs for lunch. And we are having bacon wrapped hot dogs. Yummy!
All right, there's Jack. He's trying out the new seat that attaches to the paddleboard, kind of makes it into a kayak. All right, so in addition to the new seat, Jack bought a, a sail for his paddleboard. But it literally is just like a circular thing. And it came with no came instructions. with like no instructions. It came with like four ropes. And so we think we maybe have it correct, I but it. we don't know. So uh, regardless, it looks weird. I'm going out. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. <laughs> I have no idea. Watch out for the geese right behind you. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> you can't put your feet on top. I can for now. Okay. All right, we'll see what happens. I can see Jack out there, and I think the sail is actually working. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. It's pretty far away. But it looks like... He's holding on to the one end and it is pushing him along. Hilarious. Poor Sammy. He got some sort of irritation in his eye and now he keeps rubbing it and it's so red. Hopefully it will go away in the morning. All right, it's time to beat Jack's ass at Trivial Pursuit. Now's the time. And we're having a real fun. Maybe the last one of the season. We'll see if the fire band goes in or not. Oh, there's a perfect one. Daddy got it perfectly brown. woke up here and look at we're getting some visitors to our campsite I don't know you can see them here oh the mom I think is calling them back look at how cute they are yeah the mommy goose is saying get back over here <laughs> but now they're not really sure how to get over <laughs> super cute Good morning. All right, I'm just walking down to the beach. Uh, it's a little bit later today, although we did get up earlier, a quarter after six. Sam's eye was still bugging him quite a bit. So uh, he slept well, but yeah, it's bugging him still this morning. So he woke up with that. But uh, we actually have the campsite booked for tonight as well, although we're not staying overnight. Um, we're going to uh, just stay for the day and enjoy the beach and everything. It looks beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna stay and enjoy the lake. Maybe paddle over to the other side over there for a bit and, uh, and then go home later this afternoon. Well, I have us pretty much cleaned up here. Just still our stuff out for sitting around having lunch later. Uh, the guys went for a walk uh, unfortunately, we had some, not bad luck, but unfortunate stuff happen. We had our kayak, Sam's kayak, down by the water, uh, just pulled off down the trail that we have to our campsite. And, uh, you know, people were leaving their boats down there, everything down there, so it didn't seem like a big deal. But uh, I went down this morning and it was gone. So someone had taken it. So they went out for a bit of a hike, have a look around. See if they could see anything at all. Camping code, I guess, is no longer, and now you have to be wary of thieves. So that kind of sucks because it makes camping just a little bit less fun. So, uh, anyways, we're gonna make the best of the day and go to the beach soon.